two days ago, I had a friend of mine call me and say, hey, I've got this old 60s uh, Harmony. It's actually an Alden. Uh, but he said, hey, I've got this guitar. Uh, I've got it. You can have it for a hundred bucks. I cleaned everything up, saw that it's all original, all the pots dated to 1963, and so it's, uh, it's in great shape. So anyway, I put it on reverb, and I just wanted a quick punt on this, and so within a couple hours, I got an offer of about 300 bucks. Turned $100 into $300, and did minimal work, and I got to see a cool guitar. So, this now begs the question, how do I ship it? So that's what I wanted to show you. Time lapse time. Also, quick note, first thing that you have to do, take the tension off the strings. I'm gonna put a piece of newspaper or my craft paper underneath the frets. Then in this hard case that it came in, uh, go ahead and put some bubble wrap in there along with it. Shipping vintage guitars, three things you have to do. Number one, you have to get really good boxes. I buy boxes from Uline. You work out basically by the time you buy the box and pay for shipping, they work out to about 10 bucks a piece. It's worth it. Number two, when you're taping boxes up, fingernails on tape every single time. Uh, you have to make sure that, that tape is stuck and the best way that I know how to do it, and I used to work in a warehouse with a guy who would just yell for me to put fingernails on tape. So, take your fingernails, scrape that tape, make sure that it sticks really tightly to the box. Number three, you have to package them really well. So I use two different kinds of craft paper. I use a really hard craft paper on top and bottom, and I use a pretty soft craft paper around. I pack in the, I fill in the voids within the, within the guitar, and I put a nice sheet between the, between the strings and the fretboard. So those are three quick things. That's how you ship guitars, and it's much cheaper than an insurance policy if you just ship them well when you send them out. All right, everybody, let's go find some more cool gear.